Hello everyone, I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. In this episode, we are going to be going either for the FG42 or the STG44. Uh, it'll really just come down to whatever I feel like it at the time. Uh, but knowing whatever the title of the video is and whatever gun is on the thumbnail, you guys will be able to know firsthand, obviously, anyway. Got like nothing there. Uh, we won't be getting the Quahair 43, even though I do think it is better. Uh, and the reason why it's better, I want, I want to that said, on round two, you can headshot, let them bleed out and knife, so you can get 200 points per zombie on round two. And then on round three, you can then body shot twice and then knife them. Uh, and in this map, you know what, that's pretty damn good. But if you have the more powerful gun, uh, you can't do that shit. Uh, which means overall you have less money to deal with early on and especially for optimizing this map and stuff like that uh, that goes a long way and it's those little nu uh, nuances of weapons uh, that really do add up over time uh, and that's the main one of the main reasons as well from a more you know basic standpoint why I like the Guerrero more than uh, the weapon that we're gonna actually buy today anyway um, so today we are going to just straight up buy, and um, we can do it right now. For some reason I thought that was an 1,000 costing door, but it isn't. So the M1A1 Carbine. Uh, really good weapon. Um, uh, you can with these, you can with this weapon body shot on this round. Uh, into, uh, into it. So it's not too much of a difference. Uh, however, with the Guerrero's lower damage being able to knock the head off of a zombie, however they still walk, it means that you do get more points in general. Uh, but we'll see on the next round if you can actually do that on that round. Because if you can, then you know what? Th that's pretty even. Uh, and some would say that's better because it means that overall you're using a bit less money. Or uh, ammo, rather. Knife. Okay, okay. So, in this episode, I think we might go for the STG44. Um, so for this one and uh, the FG42, because they're pretty same pricey, uh, I'm gonna have them both be compared. I feel like um, the other three, the SMGs, uh, being the Thompson, the MP40, and the Type 100, those weapons are. Uh, whoops. Um, okay, it does. So, M1A1 Carbine, still good. So, hey, at the end of the day, I guess that just means that, yeah, the M1A1 Carbine, 100% more, 100% better. Uh, which I guess is why it's oftentimes behind a door. Which is interesting. But, you know, fair enough. But that just means that, you know, we're able to optimize uh, the amount of money we get even more by doing... Why are they... Uh, plutonium. There's this you're doing. So we let them go for a bit, then we knife them. We let them both go for a bit, and then we'll, you yeah, know, let them go for a bit more, and then we'll knife them. Um, then we'll... Knife. Let this one go for a bit, let it stew. Then we'll knife. And then there's one more zombie left somewhere. You are too stupid yep. To quit. Um, yeah. We're chilling. Just never gets old. Now we'll just simply go and... I guess, get our weapon. Um... Maybe not. Maybe... We'll do a different path. We'll go for Jug first. Um, and it essentially just mean that we have um, one more round. So round five, we get the gun. But then from that round five, getting the gun, it's actually way better for us. Go. Thankfully, none of these guys were sprinting at us or anything. But cool. 
Oh, I'll throw one up there. I think it fell on the ground. Yeah, it did. We got Timothy! The really crawly zombie. We're gonna have to give him a hug soon. Hello, Timothy. Goodbye, Timothy. Okay. Uh, we will need basically 3,000 points to get our gun. So I think it'll be in the next round that we get it. But hey, we can still optimize a bit more. And I think optimize we do need to do, actually. Well, that helps. Hmm. It's another Timothy. Swim in your skin, Hi, Timothy. Um, we'll just rebuild some more of these barriers. Essentially, why I'm caring so much about points right now is because I want to get our weapon at the end of round five at most. And if we get a dog round next round, then we kind of don't have enough points, then, do we? Um, because I don't think dogs give you too many points. Like you... Oh. Someone actually has a little bit of life. Okay, so he's not even the last zombie. So the last one also has to be a crawler, I presume. He's somewhere. We'll go look, but we'll still build a bunch of these barriers. Uh, we already built that one. Timothy number okay, we did we, Oh not even close, freak bag. Craziness. Look at this insanity. But yeah, I will say that this weapon is like okay, we've done the statistics now, this bet this weapon is way just generally way better. I guess, you know, in my case it's uh being blindsided by information as well. Where other people would be blindsided by the fact that, oh, well, the weapon stats are just better. I was thinking of the niches, but didn't bother to think about the niches that the other weapon could have. Um, and that's where I lost out. Gotta link up this Terra, uh, tele... Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Tank Dempsey's dumb. Haha, <laughs> funny. And then we get to, like, BO4. Imagine... That would be a really funny video, uh, like, uh, having someone, like, who doesn't know the characters, uh, say what they can glean from quotes from, like, World at War, uh, and then try to compare them to the characters later. That would be very interesting. Because if you really think about it, like, that is, like, a really big, uh, like, there are a lot of, like, you know, character-wise differences. That sucks for us that we can't grab that. That is great for us though. Uh, we have someone behind us, so we can just simply... We have two people behind us. That's the fun zombie. Okay, the crazy thing about this is, unironically, round five, all teleporters on. I feel like every single time I play this map, I just get slightly better at it. There's the MP40. Uh, it does mean that we don't have any secondary weapon to really help us as much. Um, because, you know... We could actually, we might actually be able to get enough points. Uh, if we get like a carpenter or something, uh, we would probably be able to have the points. We're gonna drag the zombie around to keep... If you want to stay there because of glitches or something, you can do that all you want. Hey, Carpenter, exactly what I wanted. Literally, the zombie bugging the fuck out. I'm gonna find a meat sack to put a hole in. Well, we have a meat sack behind us. We don't need to find one. Use Tinder. It will help you find those meat sacks. Ding. It seems like a lot of meat sacks went in here. I do love all the fucking, like, you know, 
like oh shit like a lot of people came out out of here like all the little like lore I guess you could say I don't think we've done the first one yet like the one that we opened up first okay, the good thing about this though is that no matter essentially whatever no come out of that area we don't want you down there one thing you might not know you actually run faster if you're lightly grazing a wall as you can see, like it's like it's a slight thing, but like you know, you do run a little bit faster. I saw that on a video, and I was like, "Oh, that's really cool." Okay, but we don't need the nuke. Um, all we need is basically, I think round seven, maybe like seven with good luck. Uh, eight otherwise is when we're gonna get this done. You have seconds to the main I need to make my way back to the main crate. Wow, good job, Dempsey. You said mainframe when you can say teleporter. It's weird how teleporter is like three syllables. But tele might be two. I, know. I wish you would get something way cool. Like, you would get like a guaranteed max ammo. Maybe you do get a guaranteed max ammo when you get it done. That would be a really good, like, it would be really cool if it was, like, a uh, insta-kill, like, you know, double points, insta-kill, max ammo, guaranteed drops or something. Um, and I think I'm going to do this, and it's going to be, like, kind of jank, I guess, uh, but, uh, we're going to go do the camping spot, uh, the good camping spot, uh, while we wait to get pack. Oh. We'll do the bad one for this. This is a camping spot that if you haven't seen the Type 100 video, it works. Oh, why does it feel like we don't do damage? We do damage, but it just feels like we don't. Yeah, I guess like maybe some of the spread is being cut off because we're at like chest height or something. But there we go. The max ammo kind of didn't matter, but you know it could. Uh, the STG44 has 210 rounds, which does put it below the Type 100, which is a very interesting thing because it does mean that the Type 100, uh, in many stats, uh, baseline is actually better than the STG44. Uh, but when you see them pack a punch, you'll see kind of a clear difference. Uh, and that's one of the cool things uh, about these SMGs as well, is just uh, the variations uh, that pack a punch can bring to such similar weapons. Uh, being the Thompson, the MP40, the Type 100, and the STG44. Uh, a lot of these are all very different. Uh, and I guess, you know, the FG42 I'm also putting in this video, uh, in these uh, guns. But that's only for this map. Uh, the STG44, MP40, all of those ones. I feel like we can all agree that those are the more general ones. Um, with the bar actually being the weapon before the FG42 that was kind of treated like the FG42. Uh, in my opinion, unjustly, because the FG42 is way better than the bar in every single way possible. Okay. That's actually good. This means that we're able to deal way more points, uh, get way more points. But I still don't think this will be enough. I think we're going to have to wait an extra round. Yeah, we're going to have to wait an extra round. However, that does save on ammo a bit more. Uh, we will simply buy it. Uh, it does cost 100 extra points baseline uh, to buy ammo because ammo is actually de uh, decided by half of the weapon's cost. So a weapon like the bar, which has less ammo than this gun, less ammo than the Thompson, less ammo than the MP40, less ammo than, you know, the Type 100. So the gun has less ammo than every other automatic weapon you can buy on the wall. Um, and it has the most uh, expensive ammo at 900. And if you're on Verrucked, 1100 for ammo. You could base 1150. So 1150. 
you could literally basically buy a Thompson for the price that it costs to just refill your ammo. Which, by the way, yet again, doesn't fully uh, finish your ammo. Oh my god, what is with these zombies? Uh, that's actually really good for us. That's useful AF. Uh, we just need to make sure that we don't kill the final zombie at all. That seems like the final one to me. Um, so we will now simply... Hmm. I guess we could save up. But I think I want to focus on this one more. I think I might just pack a punch and then just get speed caller. Yeah, did she pack a punch? I will say that uh, this weapon does look the nicest out of all of the weapons uh, in this visual version of the game. Uh, sadly, I can't remove the tally marks. If I could, I would definitely have a thumbnail that looks like this. Um, sadly, I cannot remove those. Uh, maybe there is... Maybe there is a way to do it, but not that I know of. But look how fast that reload is. Also, look at the ammo. We basically have around 360 damn bullets for the thing. Um, which is why it's not even close. Uh, the Spinats is actually fucking crazy. This is essentially a BO2 weapon. It has really, I think it has a uh, pretty damn increased firepower. Um, maybe at 200. It is a weapon that could actually use double tap. Um, so we're definitely going to get that. Um, but like, it's a weapon that easily can actually stand on its own. Uh, which is something you'll also see with the FG-42. Um, which I think needs to be stated more. Like, yes, I understand it. You know, the amount of ammo that this weapon holds is basically one clip of the, you know, you know, the PPSH or the Grim Reaper, I understand. But these are war weapons that you can get every single game, and yet they perform this well. And I feel like that needs to be, like, appreciated more. We're now going to go and quickly buy ourselves um, the good old Double Tap. Um, I guess the last thing we'll get is the knife, the Bowie knife or whatever. I don't know for sure, but I feel like a zombie spawned over there. Uh, we might just try to get all the perks in this round, actually, just to be funny. So it's like, as if, like, you know, oh my god, the STG-44 is so good that, you know, I got my entire setup done. You know, I guess that, that could be, you know, just kind of like, oh, that was a little too funny. But it's funny to me more in like a, if people just like skim the video, they'll think that, you know, we got everything done, like, very quickly. Damn, I need to kill more freak bags. Oh, we actually have the wrong amount of uh, displayed money. Oh, we can fix that. I fucking hate fish! Why don't you like fish? They go blub blub. But yeah, the Spinats is fucking insane, and it's one of the only guns, it doesn't have as nice of a finish, but it's one of the only guns that doesn't have a fucked up uh, thing in this version. Yeah. Look at that model. Look how nice that looks. It looks fucking incredibly nice. But now, yeah, the fire rate, the reload, everything is maxed out. And you can just see just how clean and smooth this weapon is. It's just incredibly good. And it's actually good to have this here because the ammo is right there. So you can just drop down, uh, maybe use a different weapon. Uh, not sure what you'd use. Maybe the Wonder Wolf, even though that's way more risky. Uh, it's risky, but it could be a good save me tool, actually. Um, you use like the Wonder Wolf. Um, and then you just, you know, spray and pray. You have a really recurring uh, strategy. 
Oh, like, you know, a, a recursive strategy, rather. Um, and if this zombie is the last zombie, we'll just go and buy the Bowie knife and then just have pack a punching. Yep. We'll see if it's a dog round, because if it's a dog round, then we can easily get the points. If it's not, then we won't. We'll buy this instead. It's a dog round! So it looks like round 12 is when we're going to have a fully fitted kit with this weapon. Uh, which is really cool. Uh, I really like actually seeing, you know, the real differences that a weapon like uh, uh, each weapon can really show. But I think 100% we can all agree at this point. You know, the Spinats uh, 447 Plus, easily a weapon that's worth pack-a-punching. I'll say a lot of the other SMGs, they're not only worth pack-a-punching, but this is one of the only wall weapons, other than, like, you know, the gut shot, that's, like, easily worth your time and investment. Damn. We're gonna have slightly less ammo. However... There you go. We now have the gut shot, as well as the STG-44. Which I do think has medium speed, uh, which means it could have maybe the same speed as the FG-42, um, but I'm not 100% sure. In my head canon, I like to believe it's called the FG-42, because it's the fucking gun 42. The year it was made, you know, being uh, 1942. I, I just like the idea of there being like actual like BFG-42, like BFG-9000 kind of like naming schemes. Like, the Americans one day were like, you know what, fuck it, it's the fucking gun, because it's a fucking beast of a gun. Could you imagine, like, you know, people designing a weapon, and it's like, and here is the good part of the weapon, and it is called the Gun Fucker 9000. Um, we need a different name. How about the FG42? And they're like, we, I like it. I always think of the uh, Uther versus Uther... Uh, raunchy animations, uh, Hearthstone thing. Uh, all the time. It's one of my favorite fucking videos on YouTube. We do go through a lot of ammo, I will say, though. But that is to be expected with any weapon, really, in this game. Okay, chill out, bro. Time. What an explosive end to that round. Dun dun dun. But yep, round 12, as I said, we are now fully set up. Uh, and yet again, I'll uh, have a nice little. Maybe next round. Next round, we'll try to... I think that would be a really nice photo. Needs to clean up those freak bits. Uh, we'll stop throwing grenades. You are too to quit. Just so then, uh... We're really using everything. But that's what I mean, right? Like, we can just do that as a strategy for this one. You know what? I think for the rest of the video... Let's not do that. I was gonna say for... I, like... 
I don't know if the l no ammo will show up. Like, if it would, I would 100% do that. And I might do that for a video uh, at some point in the future, is playing each map as if it was a hardcore map. Because uh, that does seem like a actually like interesting idea for a video. Is that, you know, like you don't actually know how much ammo, like how much money you have or anything. It's just like get, uh, guesswork. Yet again, we can simply... Such a good strategy, unironically. The other thing that's so great about that strategy as well, is just the simple fact that like, on top of it already being a pretty good strategy, like... That's, I, that's, that's funny, but not something we're gonna do. Uh, it's it's kind of renewable as a strategy. Uh, if you had like, you know, if you had another weapon that you would want to camp with, like maybe the MG42 or something, that could easily be a very renewable strategy. Um, I think it really does show just how well uh, this map is balanced in a way. I wouldn't know if this weapon is balanced. Like, it's balanced in such a way where like, it's just, it's one of those things where it's like, the early game seemed way more daunting because we had to open up the map more, but then you can kind of just realize the fact that, oh, well, we can just use the catwalk still. Free max ammo. Nuke. That's one of the nuke. I want to try to spin the box a bit so we can get monkeys if we can. Double Panzer Shrek. I actually will take that. And the reason why is, it's kind of a funny reason, is I want to pack a punch it. Um, so then if I pack a punch it, it means that I simply can grab a thumbnail of it now uh, and not have to get one later. Don't fuck with a marine. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. We now have the longius. Um, so we'll now find a place to kind of sit down with this. Uh, maybe like somewhere like here. Okay, so HUD underscore draw HUD zero, uh, and then we'll simply do that, have that, and then do HUD underscore draw HUD one, uh, and then we'll simply replace this with the um, trench gun again. And then, you know, that's, that's helping out the videos. I guess this uh, shows you though, like I guess you get to see now though, a little bit of like, you know, behind the scenes of, uh, you know, really how these, a lot of these thumbnails go. But uh, that's also just good for me, uh, it means that all my thumbnails are essentially done, the Panzer Shrek is one I needed to do uh, specifically on this map as well. Uh, that does mean that our uh, weapon is not as strong. Uh, so we are fully relying on the spinats, I guess, at this point. Wasn't even the last one. Immediately fucking came to replace it, that's hilarious. Noise! Okay. Yet again, if we had enough for, um... That could be a smart idea. That costs a bit of money. But I like that idea. I like that idea. So the idea is, is we like shoot and pray and do some stuff here. Um... 
Well, that defeats the owl strategy. Dun 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 We got, we got the gut shot back. Uh, I might go and buy some of these doors. Just so it's a, a little, like just that one. Just so it's a bit easy to get around. Uh, and we'll start spinning the box again. Uh, like we'll just spin it once. We'll just spin it once more. Just so we can try to get that, um, the good shit. That's not the good shit. I thought he said a really bad word for a second. He said bad guts. I thought he said bad guts, and I was like, oh, hoo -hoo. Dempsey not looking too hot. Like, ooh. Don't want to say that. I can say it because I'm allowed to. I have the license, but I don't think he has a license. Maybe his voice actor does that. That would be interesting. It would actually be very interesting to see like a gay person play a ridiculously macho, you know, American in a series like this. That's so mainstream. Oh, got nothing from those grenades. I lose, sir. That was a ch uh, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory reference. Yes. I wonder. If we're gonna be okay. Well, we're gonna be okay one way or another. Cause I'm the scat man. Bada bada. Let me run! No! <sighs> That's what happens sometimes. Sometimes you can easily get stuck in the stairs. But yeah, I hope you all absolutely loved that episode, or this episode. Look at that, 232 headshots. That's pretty damn good. But yeah, I hope you absolutely enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, keep uh, up to date with my community posts because I do uh, actually have voting polls for these episodes so you can actually see these episodes and stuff like this early in a way because I'm having it completely be up to you guys. Uh, and by the time all of these videos are finished, I am hoping to have ha uh, to have finished and be good enough at video games to have done the Call of the Dead Wall Buy Challenge, which is one of the hardest challenges I've had to do in Call of Duty history. With that, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day, and goodbye.